Hi guys, so this is Vicky Teacher and in this podcast video we're going to study and learn about the United Arab Emirates. So like the United States of America, instead of saying the United States of America or the United Arab Emirates, we can say the UAE, which is kind of, um, it's an up and coming area of the world right now. I didn't hear very much about this place growing up, but it's getting quite popular now, especially for business. So, the United Arab Emirates is made up of seven different areas. This is one here, Abu Dhabi. You can see on the map, it's the largest part of the Emirates. And it's also the capital, so it's the national capital of the UAE. That's Abu Dhabi. Next, we have this little place in orange. So the pronunciation in Arabic is Um Ul Kuwain. Um Ul Kuwain. But in English, we, we say Am al Kuwain. Next, this little place here, it's kind of mm, salmon color. In Arabic, it's called Ajman. And in English, Ajman. Then this place here, it's very, very small. It's called Sharsha. Or in English, Sharja, Sharja. Then, of course, this pink area is Dubai. Okay, so as some of you may know, there is a very large international airport in both Dubai and Abu Dhabi. So personally, I have used both of these airports, but I've never left the airport. So I'm looking again at the map and Sharsha is actually this entire green area. And I think also it has, yes, it's number one here. So the green is marked. That's quite curious. And it seems that Dubai it has number three, also has a small area here in the north of Oman. And Ajman, which I think seems to be the littlest, is number two, also has a little area here and a little area here, which is quite curious. So next, is this green area, which seems to be divided into two parts. In English, it's pronounced Ras Al Kaima. But in Arabic, it's uh, quite different. Ras Ul Khaimatin. Ras Al Khaimatin. Rasul Aluhaimatin. Rasu Aluhaimatin. And the last one, which is kind of a pastel pink color, is Fujaira. Fujaira. So it's interesting, it's broken into three parts. So we have one, two, 
Shuri, this little part here, which is really fascinating. And two of them actually have a border on the Gulf of Oman. And in Arabic, it's pronounced... Fujaira. 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 So, as we have said, UAE stands for the United Arab Emirates, also known as the Emirates. There's a very good airline called the Emirates. I have flown with them a couple of times and they are super, super pro. So it's a country, altogether it's a country, we can see it down here, United Arab Emirates, located in the west of Asia. So it's to the, in the west of Asia. It is found at the eastern end of the Arabian Peninsula. So this is the Arabian Peninsula here. So there are nine countries included in the Arabian Peninsula. So we have Bahrain, which is here. Bahrain and Kuwait, which is here, Kuwait, Oman, which is here. I think I've also been to the airport in Oman. We also have Qatar, and I think I've been to the airport in Qatar also. So all of these places here, like Qatar, United Arab Emirates, like Dubai and Abu Dhabi, and Oman, I'm pretty sure they all, maybe not Oman, I'm pretty sure they all have big, big international airports. So when you fly from Europe, for example, to Australia or China, it's very typical to have a layover on the Arabian Peninsula. But I think the majority of people don't leave the airport. Then, of course, we have the big one, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, which we are talking about, and Yemen down here, which, to be honest, I don't hear a lot about. And then there are also the southern parts of Iraq, and Jordan are also considered parts of the Arabian Peninsula. Now let's look at the sea situation with the Iberian Peninsula. So to the east of Saudi Arabia, we have the Gulf of Aden, entering here and going up this is the Red Sea and this leads up to the Suez Canal then the United Arab Emirates primarily have their maritime border with the Persian Gulf but to the east, they also have a border, maritime border, on the Gulf of Oman. And then here to the south east, we have the Arabian Sea, which also has a maritime border with Pakistan and India. And here we can see the Maldives Islands, which has become quite a popular tourist destination. Now, let's talk about what languages are spoken in the Emirates. 
So the population of the Emirates is just over 10 million people. However, only about 1.4 million of those are native to the UAE. So almost 84% of the residents are immigrants. The official language of the country is standard Arabic. But because of the high levels of immigration into the country, English, Hindi, Farsi, Urdu and Malayalam are also spoken. There are different versions of Arabic spoken in the country, including Gulf Arabic. Gulf Arabic is spoken regularly in Qatar, Kuwait, Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. If a foreigner wants to be a citizen in the country, they must be fluent in Arabic, according to UAE's laws. So the next question is, what is the most popular foreign language spoken in the UAE? And unsurprisingly, it's English. The land that is now the United Arab Emirates was previously a British colony in the past. For this reason, English continues to be a popular language in the area. The language is predominantly used in schools and it is taught as a second language. English is used in shops, hotels and businesses also as a result of the large community of Western foreigners living in the Emirates, English is actually used more than Arabic. And then I found this map, which was, mm, for me it was shocking actually, and it shows the growth of the British Empire. So all of these areas that are kind of in pink, red, salmon color, they were all part of the British Empire. And if we zoom in here to the Arabian Peninsula, you can see, I can't zoom anymore, you can see... So looking closely at the map of the British Empire, if we zone in on this red area to the southeast of the Arabian Peninsula, you can see here the word Trucial. So in the past, there were a group of Trucial states. The Trucial states were a group of sheikdoms. So what is a sheikdom? A sheikdom is a place or a society ruled by a tribal leader called a sheik. Sheikdoms exist exclusively within Arab countries, particularly in the Arabian Peninsula, Arab states of the Parisian Gulf. These sheikdoms joined forces with the British by signing some treaties. The treaties led to a truce. Tregua. 
in Spanish. Hence the name the Trucho States. The treaties led to the formation of an official British protectorate in 1820. The Trucial sheikdoms are Dubai, Sharjah, Abu Dhabi, Fukhaira, Umalkwan, Ajman and Rajal Kaima, which today are the seven emirates of the United Arab Emirates. The Trucial states, also known as the Trucial Coast, the Trucial Sheikdoms, Trucial Arabia or Trucial Oman, was the name the British government gave to this group of tribal confederations in southeastern Arabia, whose leaders had signed protective treaties or truces.